Up first this evening, a seven-year-old boy is dead and the police say they have a relative in custody in relation to the killing. The tragic situation happened in Bickersteth, St. James, earlier this week, but the child's body was discovered this morning. It's a heart-wrenching revelation for residents of Johnson Common, Bickersteth in St. James. This more than tongue can tell. I couldn't believe that someone could do a, a child like this. Seven-year-old Aiden Rose found dead in bushes behind his mother's house sometime after six Tuesday morning. The body had a nasty wound to the head. It's understood that while this is where his mother lives, Aiden spent most of his time with his stepfather and grandmother in the nearby Cambridge community. His stepfather was too distraught to speak, but his grandmother confirmed that he practically lived with them. Oh God Almighty. Three for them are three months old. And me take care of Aiden until Sunday. His grandmother explained that on Sunday, his mother picked him up and took him to her house in Bickerseth. According to police reports, the boy's mother said she left him alone at the house on Monday and went to Montego Bay to withdraw money. She told them when she returned home, she did not see the child. About 6.30 Tuesday morning, neighbors found the boy's body under a tree in bushes in the yard. Aiden was a grade one student at the Bickerseth Primary School. School principal Robert Gordon says news of his death had spread throughout the community, and so they had to start grief counseling immediately. Based on what the class teacher um, indicated, he was a student who had a lot of potential and very active in class. Part of me a cut up. Who could have possible? What could Aiden possible do for somebody lick Aiden to the head? The boy is so nice to me. Sometimes he hug me behind me and say, I love you. The police are now probing further to figure out what really led to Aiden's death. Investigators have also collected blood samples from the scene and are now awaiting an autopsy report. Herman Green, TVJ News.